All right, well, the city is crawling with fans, celebrities, sports journalists. And we found one guy who fits all three descriptions <laughs> waiting in the wings last night. And here's our conversation one-on-one -on -one with Stephen A. Smith. All right, we ran into Stephen A. Smith, who's here at the NBA Finals. Okay, Stephen, we're, we're behind the scenes, you know, like flies on the wall. How do you prepare for a big game like this? Well, first of all, you, you got to do your homework, always. I mean, you, you never let it down. You never, put the, you never stop studying. You never stop preparing yourself for what's to come. You got to analyze what transpired during last night's game. Obviously, you got to know what needs to happen uh, in tonight's game. You want to make sure you study all the interviews. You know what quotes were being given out. You watch people's body language, the demeanor. I'm, I'm, I'm particular, and I'm different from a lot of other folks. I make it my business to be out on the court while guys are warming up. I like to look in the guys' eyes. I like to see their body language. I like to pay attention to all of that stuff. I like to see you know, their friends. I like to see their family members. I like to see the look on their faces. Uh, the beat writers that cover the team. I'm looking at them. I know a lot of them. I just I just need to look at them because I played the game and I watch these guys and there's certain things that I've been just fortunate and blessed enough to easily pick up and it's sort of analyzing what's going on from that level. And then also you take into account the ambiance of the situation in terms of the crowd, the fervor, uh, the level of urgency they attach to each game because you have some players that are immune to all of that, like the Tim Duncans of the world. You have others who might feel it and you don't know how they're going to react to it. So all of those things are things that you take into consideration, but uh, it, it's just a total consumption of the moment. Um, and I think a lot of people really, really dismiss the importance of it. And anytime people want to act like paying, playing in front of 18, 19,000 people with millions of people watching, I simply sit there and say, well, you know what? Go to an empty gymnasium where there are no cameras, there are no microphones, there are no anything, and there's no audience. And show me the level of dedication that you have there. And does your hair stand up on your skin? Is there any adrenaline flowing through your body at that particular moment in time? You might work very hard, but the answer as it pertains to adrenaline is no. You don't have it because you're all alone, nobody's watching, and nobody cares. You see, that's the difference between playing in front of an audience and playing without one. Well, my question is, are you enjoying the moment right now? I'm always enjoying the moment. I've been doing it now for 19 years, uh, covering the NBA uh, and being a journalist. I love basketball. I love boxing. I love football and all of that, too. Uh, but I'm a basketball lover to the core. Um, I love great basketball. I love championship action. I love it when something is on the line and all of a sudden you're in a position where your identity is going to be exposed. Who you are, what you are made of, are established in moments like this. And I love finding out who the stars among stars are and who are the dudes that wilt beneath the pressure. That really, really, really is something that always excites me. It never gets tiring. And the deeper the series goes, the more compelling it is, the better it is for me. Because that means I'm really going to find out what you're made of. There's a real big difference between somebody who performs in the regular season and somebody who performs in the postseason. And there's a huge difference between somebody who even performs in the postseason and somebody who performs in a game seven. It's two totally different worlds. And that's what I like to see. That's when we define what greatness truly is and what it isn't. Well, I think your performance right now has been fantastic. Mr. Stephen A. Smith, I appreciate your time. And I'm so glad much. you're enjoying San Antonio. I, 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 I'm enjoying it. It's a little bit different for me. The River Walk is not Broadway. We all know this, uh, but the people are incredibly hospitable and nice. And, you know, it, it is a joy. And the River Walk is pretty. And the food is excellent. But uh, uh, I'm waiting to go home. Okay. We can all understand that. You want to sleep in your own bed. Everybody wants to do that. How about that? <laughs>